Hello and welcome to another video where I'm going to be doing an update for my PinePhone Pro as I've been trying to use it as a daily driver as much as possible and um, yeah so I've been running into some issues that is preventing me from truly using it on a daily basis and, I, and I'd like to discuss them right now but before I go any further I um, just want to bring your attention to the screen where it's showing the um, it, about Tau Boot. So I'm going to be posting this link in the description below. So Tau Boot is replacing U Boot. And what Tau Boot does is gives you some functionality for making it easier to flash a new operating system to your PinePhone Pro. But also, it fixes the suspend issue. So no longer are you stuck having the phone not being able to wake up from suspend this is huge so it, it makes the phone so much more usable moving forward uh, so the, i'm going to also post the video what i found is for uh, how to install this but it didn't give all the instructions so i'm just going to elaborate a little bit further one of the the thing you're going to be downloading if you want to install Tau Boot on your Pine Phone Pro is you're going to be downloading this guy right here. And when you download this, one of the um, file like it's going to have a bunch of files in there, and one of the files you're going to be using is called the spi.installer.img. That spi.installer.img is what you flash onto an SD card and from that then you look at the video that I'm going to be posting below because then at that point is you're, you're going to be able to install Tau Boot on your Pine Phone Pro. So that's just I just wanted to make that clarification and make it a little bit easier for you to install Tau Boot on your Pine Phone. So let's go take a look at the Pine Phone. So here we are. This is the I believe this is the Manjaro, um, Manjaro Foss, if I recall correctly. Um, no, yeah, it is. Sorry, it is Manjaro Foss. Uh, I also have so this is Manjaro Foss is installed on my SD card, and I booted up to my SD card here on the um, the memory in the on the phone. I have installed the um, Manjaro Plasma. So I installed the latest Manjaro Plasma. I think it's March 11th, 2022 on the memory that's in the phone. And this here is the Manjaro FOSS. And I think it's March 18th, the development version. So there's going to be not 100% fully functional, but still it's, it's slick. I mean, I like it. It's quick. It functions pretty damn good. So I'm just going to go over a few things. So number one, the camera still doesn't work. So if I try to load up a camera app, as you can see, it just doesn't work. And this applies to both the Fosh and the Plasma versions. It's no big deal. It doesn't work and we just have to roll with the punches there. The proximity sensor doesn't work, I believe, in this software in neither of the softwares uh, that I have available to me but from what i understand from what i've been reading on twitter is that they have unlocked that functionality so i'm would assume that it will eventually bleed its way into all the different versions like arch manjaro mobian whatever it's it's probably going to uh, bleed into all of them so that's a great feature so the the proximity sensor so you know if you have your finger on it it's going to turn off when you're on a telephone call absolutely phenomenal um so to talk a little bit about the suspend on this, uh, it works. It just works. I mean, so right now, you know, I, I, if it goes to suspend, I mean, I, I don't think it's going to go to, to into that state right now. But if it did, it would just go to sleep like that, and then simply just wake it up. It just just no problems whatsoever. That's really cool because before, prior to this, the Suspend really didn't work that well, and it just it kind of made a phone harder to use because you had to always be closer to a charging device uh, because it would just drain the battery that much faster. 
the way it is right now. Although it's charging right now, I'll turn it, take the charger off. Um, it's way better. I mean, it, it could last most of the day depending on how much you use it. Maybe even much longer depending if you don't even use it at all. I mean, if you just leave it in the suspend state. So it's way, way better now. And this is all of a result of Tau Boot. Tau Boot does make a huge improvement on the functionality of the phone. In some respects, in other respects, not so, but we'll touch upon that. Um, so one of the things I have noticed is the sound gets borked. It's, it doesn't really work when you come out of suspend. So theoretically, it's if it in suspend state right here, say you leave the phone for a period of time and it goes into to suspend state and a phone call comes in, it will wake up, but the sound just doesn't work. Um, whatever you do, the sound just doesn't work at that point. The only way to fix it is to reboot. Not the greatest situation to be in because I think that kind of makes the phone not truly functional right now because the sound issue coming out of sleep or suspend, it just, it creates problems. Um, so that's, that's something I've encountered. Calls and SMS works fine on both the Fosh and the Plasma version. I had MMS working at one time and my Plasma no longer works for whatever reason. Um, so that's just something to consider. I use. So MMS just can't get it to work for whatever reason on either of the two versions. I haven't tried Arch or anything, so maybe it, it works on those. I'm, I'm just playing around with, with Manjaro right now. The flashlight works. I mean, you could punch it up and you see it, it works. See, it works fine. So that is cool. Um, don't know if that was something that had to be fixed. It works for my my phone right now and works for both versions. The um, sorry, the Bluetooth. Um, I haven't tried it out, so I have no idea if it works. If it doesn't work, if there's any issues with it. No clue whatsoever. So something that I'm gonna have to figure out in the coming days. I just wanted to make note when I plug this in. And this dawned on me more so in the plasma than the Fosh. But when I plug it in, it sounds like I'm plugging in a computer into a power, like to getting powered up. And oh, it didn't work this time. But for whatever reason, sometimes let's try it again. That ah, didn't work. But I, I found it to be really cool that when I put power into this to charge up my phone, um, it sounded like a computer. Like it sounded like my computer when I put my charger onto it. So it, it just, it reassures the fact that this is a computer in your pocket, a computer in your, um, on your phone, like a full desktop OS that is on your phone. That is incredible. And I cannot stress how incredible that is and amazing it can be depending on if we could just unleash all the power that's capable of um, being unleashed from both the phone itself and the operating system. So really cool stuff. I've been trying to get WayDroid, one of the Android versions, Android Android emulators onto this to make it work. Have not, I, I failed. Um, so I, I think I may have installed it on this. Um, there it is. I have WayDroid down there, but if I try it, it just won't work for whatever reason. I just haven't got it to work. I understand that the, the hardware acceleration doesn't work, so I have to disable it somehow. So every time I click it, then it's not going to be trying to do hardware acceleration. But if I can get that Android emulator to work and install something like my ShakePay app, um, I'm so much closer to, to ditching my Android phone and going to this. Um, that's just one of the things I'd love to install in this. Um, Another thing that came to uh, like another side effect from going to Tau Boot, I don't know if this is maybe a placebo effect or something like that, but I can now put a lower wattage charger to power up and charge this phone and it works. Previously, I had to use a high wattage um, charger to make, make it work so that it does charge the phone. But for whatever reason, I, I could use a lower wattage charger after installing Tau Boot. Like, so I'm not sure if this is more of a placebo effect or if there's if there's legitimacy behind it, but um, I, I do notice that it's better in, in that regards. 
one thing that I just want to stress is when, if you're going to put the SIM tray, this, sorry, the SIM card in there, I just took mine out today because I wanted to use my um, Android phone for calling and everything and f for fully functionality purposes. Because again, like I mentioned that the sound is worked on this once it goes to sleep and you wake it up, it's kind of not working that well. Make sure you use the right SIM tray. So here is the one that was provided to, to me by PinePhone. I had no idea this, this even was there. So make sure you use that proper one. Don't try to use any aftermarket ones because they may not work. I, I have another one here. Let's see if I could find it. Ah, no, I can't. Um, I tried using another one that I have. It just didn't work well in this. The, the, the SIM tray or SIM slot didn't accept my other type of tray that just the one that was provided by pine phone works so much better even that is still relatively tight but it's way way better and make sure if you do put it in do not put this in to your pine phone without the sim card in it apparently you could screw up your slot and you you know you just really screw it up and you got to fix it somehow after the fact and it's just not worth it so if you're going to put this in your phone make sure it has the SIM card in it properly inserted in this. So be very careful when you slide it in. So that's something to consider. One thing I, I've noticed when I first went to Fosh, and I don't know if everybody found this, just just restarting your phone. So to restart it, you have to press the top tray here. And then from there, you click that. And oh, there you go. So you could either lock your screen, restart, and power off. So that's just one little trick for people that are using this. I prefer Plasma, to be perfectly honest. I don't like Fosh the way it looks like when you open up an app. I'll just open up one app, for instance, like say my um, settings. Let's open it up. I don't like the fact that it remains there as an app. So if I want something else, say like Telegram. Uh, open up Telegram. Oh, it's not working telegram because my phone isn't there. Let's see. Oh, there it is. So I, I don't like the fact that you always have the apps there. Like I wish you could sort of hide away and you could view it in a different window or something. So that's one thing I don't like about Fosh versus Plasma. Plasma is so much cleaner and everything, but Plasma just doesn't work for whatever reason. I can't get it to work as well as Fosh. I think the functionality of Fosh is way, way better especially like the accounts. Like if I load up my accounts from Google, so it loads up all my my emails, my um, contacts, everything. It loads up perfectly in this. If I go to Plasma, it hmm, doesn't work as well. So I'm just going to show you. I'm going to just transition over to Plasma. Oh, I'm so used to Android for rebooting. And I'm going to show you the something really cool about Tau boot. So let me just power this off. Power off. So when you first boot up or anytime you boot up, after Tau boots installed, you have three different options that you could choose from when you boot it up. So if you just turn it on and let it do its thing without intervening, it will go straight to the operating system that is in the memory, um, that is in, in the internal memory here. So in, in this case, I have the latest um, Manjaro Plasma Stable, so that's the March 11th version. If you start up the phone and once the light turns red and then you hold the power down, it will boot whatever's in the SD card. Thirdly, if you boot up and when the light turns red and you hold the power, sorry, volume up button, it is like a USB storage. So if you hook it up to your computer after you do that, your computer will then access the internal memory on this. And that's how you could easily flash a new operating system into the internal memory. And that's how, how I've been doing it. It's, it's been absolutely phenomenal. So I, I haven't changed anything. In, like it just, it works perfectly with Tau boot in terms of that regard. So I'm just going to show you, I'm going to boot it up and go to the internal memory. So I'm going to just or the internal thing. So, it's, so there you go. See the red light turned on. If I press either the power up or power, bu power down button, it would change how it boots, but I'm going to do nothing. It's going to go straight to the Plasma version that I have here of Manjaro. And I'll just show you all that what it looks like inside. So I prefer the look and feel of Plasma. I wish that somehow it, it could be more functional and it could it could be developed further. Um, looks like things are going f faster when it's 
with regards to uh, Vosh than Plasma, but let me just get in. I, I just like the look and feel of this. Um, and plus, I do use KDE on my personal desktop, so maybe that's partially why I'm impartial to Plasma versus Fosh, but it's it just doesn't work as well. So I, I talked about the um, accounts just not loading up properly, so it's it's harder to call your your uh, people you know. Um, yes, I I just let me just change the brightness in this to make it a little clearer. So I just like the look and feel of this. It just way way better i don't know and i you know like the fact you have when you open up something um let me open up the weather for instance and then you know if you want to go back to it you just click on that i love that feel and if you want to close it it just closes it there like it's just just phenomenal but that's my tricks sorry tips and tricks of the pine phone pro um totally recommend using tau boot totally recommend using fosh I will put all the notes that I have below on how to make how to install Fosh, sorry, uh, Taboot on your uh, phone. It's it's gonna make life so much easier for you and just way better. Just too bad that Plasma is just not as advanced and as further ahead as say Fosh is. And oh, also I want to note that it so the suspend does work fine on this, but on on the Plasma. Although I have to note that even when it's off and it, go, it should be going to suspend, I can still feel that the CPU in the back is very warm. Like right here, it's quite warm. And the same applies when I use uh, Fosh, but after it goes to suspend in Fosh, it just, it cools down. You could tell it goes into suspend state. In the Plasma, I'm not sure if it does. It still feels very warm. So I really haven't tried it out all that much just because the functionality of the Plasma is just not as good as Fosh. Those are my two cents. I, I just hope that they could fix it so the sound isn't borked when it comes out of suspend state so I can actually continually get calls when I'm, you know, when it goes to suspend rather than getting a call, not answering, rebooting the phone, and then calling back that person just doesn't make sense but it's getting there this is getting there it's one step at a time and we're getting there one day it's closer and closer to being fully functional once i figure out how to use the wadroid the android emulator i'll be so much further ahead and once they, they figure out the sound system the sound problem coming out of suspend way way better so yeah uh feel free to, to lit to like this video comment way below um, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, what your t tricks and uh, tips and tricks are, because uh, I want to improve my user experience as well. And I definitely look forward to seeing this continually get development from, from the community, because this phone has so much potential, especially with using a full-blown Linux kernel and operating system. I'm so very happy with this phone. It's going to be so good once it's it's up and running it to close to its full potential, hopefully by summer. But yeah, uh, so with that being said, take care and um, I'll look forward for look uh, for more videos to be released in a not too distant future. Take care.